Welcome back, all you DC Multiverse loving dudes and you dads. Toysh is here, and we're celebrating McFarlane Con 2020 Round 2 in style. And I just want to say, before we get started, thank you so much. We just hit 69,000 subscribers on my Instagram. From the bottom of my toy collecting heart to everybody out there, thank you so much for your support. But nobody cares about that when you got a Red Hood versus Nightwing DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys 2-pack, right? Yeah, this is um, this is very exciting. I'm very stoked to have this, and thank you to McFarlane Toys for setting this out to give you guys this fresh look. Nightwing and Red Hood, one of those where definitely needed a figure. And Nightwing, yeah, he's in his red duds now. It's kind of like they took two DC Multiverse packages and smashed them together. You get a nice window box packaging, Nightwing versus Red Hood. And on the back side, of course, you get really nice comic book art, very nicely done each figure of course comes with a collectible card and we get one of those little black stands that says dc on it with corresponding weapons and such but again really nice artwork that's what sells it for me when you see really crisp artist inspired comic book art for comic book figures go figure cross sells on the back all the dark knights metal that are currently hitting as well very cool just very excited to have this here's the barcode now this hasn't officially gone up for pre-order just yet i will have the link in the description below depending on when you see this video it will be there as soon as it goes up and also on my instagram fingers crossed hopefully very very soon so i'm excited i know you're excited sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of gotham city coffee this is a look at the brand new dc multiverse nightwing versus red hood McFarlane Toys box set. And here's the two figures out of the packaging, and I think you're gonna like this one. If not for one, then both, because both are not too shabby. Now, I do have my thoughts about Nightwing, which it is basically the same figure that we got in the first wave of McFarlane Toys way back when in January. You get a nice lenticular holofoil Nightwing card on the back. You get a little bit more about him. Yada yada. The last one was better than Batman. Now this is like New 52. Same thing with Red Hood. New 52. That's at least what it says on the comic book card. If it's wrong, it's Red Hood to me. So that's just the way it's going to be. You get a nice idea of who Jason Todd is. Strictly speaking of more modern type bios and everything for these characters. If you know way back when, then you know who Jason Todd is. But we'll start off with Nightwing. Now, like I said, in my original look back at this Nightwing figure... I really wasn't too keen on it, and I still stick with that. I do, however, love the paint job that they put on his mask. He's got red eyes now. Really nice crisp in the lips, the face, the flesh-colored tone. It's great. The red is a gorgeous red on him, but he still, for me, has that diaper sort of weird thing going on. This is a figure that I think benefits when you start posing him, if you have one of those stands. Really get him in some action poses, because then it kind of lessens the idea that he's got really weird shoulders. Yeah, he comes with his escrima sticks. You can put him on the back. He's got a blue wash to his hair that looks really nice as well. Makes all the strands of hair pop. Really nicely designed. But you see, it's the exact same figure, just a different paint job. Whether or not you got the last one, maybe you like the red version costume of Nightwing. I do prefer blue, to be quite honest, but I don't have a red costume. So it's good for the collection, and like I said, once you get him in his poses, that's when the figure comes to life, and you're able to kind of, it just lessens the whole, and eh, things don't really make sense here and there. It kind of looks Batman Beyond-ish too, right? Right there in the, the chest. But the articulation is nice for what it is, especially when you go up against the red hood, kick him right in the face, you got yourself a nice battle going on. Now, I know you're all here for the Red Hood, and get ready for this, because, yeah, I was very excited. This is the one I pulled out of the packaging. Obviously, first, he looks fantastic. That cherry red glossy helmet is, wow, voila, like, couldn't have asked for something better. The big red bat emblem, his jacket, the belts, the more body-type armor that he has, the silver paint, the back of the figure, the line work on the jacket, the collar, this is solid. This is a solid looking figure, but let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation because he does have those weird wrists and ball jointed leg, you know, right at the, at the feet kind of thing. I'm not a huge fan of that. 
on some figures it works. It's not bad at him, but that's the nitpick hindrance of this figure. Otherwise, it's a great Red Hood figure. No joke. He's got some interesting articulation, of course. The head will kind of sort of go back, mostly goes down, and then left and right. But it's a solid sculpt, solid design. Love the paint job. His eyes pop on that. That is fantastic. You got a nice ab crunch to him. He'll go forward. He'll go back. This will aid in a lot of posing, right? He'll get some good battle poses out of him. He'll spin at the wrist. He does have a type of butterfly joint where it'll go out to the side, which is nice. He's got some hidden bicep swivel right at the cuffs of his jacket. That's fantastic, too. Double jointed elbows. The wrists are hidden by like a glove mechanism, right? It's all one piece. You kind of have to work with them a little bit, but it hides that really wonky McFarlane ball joint that can hinder some figures, so it's great. He'll kick out really nicely. Double jointed knees, and of course, as I've already talked about, Weird feet, but he's got toe articulation, so that works as well. You can do the splits and everything else. Here's the thing, though. Remember these guns? Yeah, it's this is the main problem right here. Unfortunately, right, they are able to be removed. Finally, we've lifted the curse of the Mattel gun. How many of you were like, oh, my God, no. Just, it's amazing. Yeah, it's finally, we got the guns to come out of the holsters. He's got some Batman logo personalization right there on the gun itself. All one solid silver piece, put him in his trigger finger holding hands and bingo bango, you got one heck of a good looking Red Hood figure. If you're on the fence about Nightwing, get it for this figure, it's fantastic. This is what we think we've all wanted. So well done, hands down. When you start taking photos of this guy, that's when the magic starts happening. He poses well, he looks down, he's dramatic. The colors, the red, the guns, everything. I think you're going to be really happy with this guy. And I'm glad that he has both trigger holding hands. It would have been really cool to kind of have some extra alternate hands. We'll just say, but I'm taking it for what it is. It's perfect. It's great. I'm in love with this figure. It's fantastic. He looks good. He just looks menacing. When you stack him up height wise, they all work. I got to give it to him on that. Jason Todd stands perfectly with Batman, with Nightwing, Barbara Gordon. And if you throw in the old Mattel Red Robin, yeah. He looks good as well. Get the whole Bat family going. They're working on scale. They promised they'd work on scale, and they're delivering. So that is fantastic to see. And I think especially, even if you're not happy with this Batman figure, really, you're, it matches up. So height-wise, they're doing a good thing either way. I do happen to like this figure. He's got a small head. We've all heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he looks good standing with him. If you've got the old Mattel one now, you have to consider this was back in the day two and a half three years ago maybe if that it's just it is what it is and um yeah just uh, you just take care of business there old mattel red hood now here's something if you still have that red hood right you could pop the helmet off of this figure and put the red hood unmasked on it and it doesn't look too shabby now you can't at least on mine pull the little peg out so his head is sitting right on the neck joint which actually works the head is big enough to sit over the neck. You can still turn it and everything else. It just does not going to have the rocker to it. But it looks pretty good. The neck might be a little long, but I think it looks pretty stellar. This is a great box set. If not, just for the red hood, you're getting Nightwing figure for the heck of it, right? That's I don't recommend the Nightwing, but unfortunately it's a two-pack. I didn't like the blue one. I hope that they work on, uh, I wouldn't say another one, but yeah, and eventually we don't need it. Now, get that Nightwing posed. I think he looks a lot better than just standing still. This Red Hood is gorgeous. He's fantastic. Amazing McFarlane Red Hood. That's all I can say. Great articulation on both. Yes, they both have those wonky ball jointed wrists and legs. Red Hood hides it a little bit better, but you're still going to have to compete with that when standing him in some aspects. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this two-pack. Is it for you? Are you going to get one when the pre-orders grow up? Again, I'll have the link in the description below when applicable. And thank you again to McFarland Toys for sending these over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, will we keep Jason Todd alive? Make sure to call the hotline for the corresponding answer. Yes or no, operators are standing by. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.